campaign. He has over a million followers on Instagram and he's here to share some of his most popular methods to help relieve back pain. Please Thank welcome you Dr. Mike Wasilisin. Oh my goodness. Great name. <laughs> Thank you for having me here. Thank of you course. for being here. All right, what's the most common cause of back pain? So 85 to 95% of the time, back pain is caused from musculoskeletal issues. That means the way you're bending, the way you're lifting, even the technique you're using at the gym. Okay. That means 85 to 95% of the time, you can improve your body on your own. So what can we do to help alleviate pain? So today for you guys, I've taken two of the most common causes of back pain, the way you breathe, Ooh. and the way you bend. Never heard the breathing. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> so everyone here is going to learn to improve those and feel better in the back. Let's do All it. All right, let's you do ready? it. You ready? Yeah, let's yeah. Okay, so for this, I have my lovely wife, Katie. Oh. Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hi, Katie. <laughs> what, are we, what are we looking at here? <laughs> So this is anatomy art. This was all hand painted on here today. Yes. <laughs> it's crazy. This looks like a real like shirt yeah. or something there. <laughs> oh, it's, it's amazing. So you can really see where the muscles are going yeah, and what's, exactly. what's going on. And so turn around here, Katie. So you'll see here all the vertebra of the spine. Mm -hmm. Yep. The discs in between. What disc pain, disc issues, very related to the way you breathe and bend too. The quadratus lumborum muscle, you've got the ribs. All of these are parts that all of you have in you from the factory. And when you get to <laughs> learn to control them, you now can live free from All right, well, what okay. can we do? Yeah, okay, let's, let's do control it. them. Yep. So let's start off with teaching something called the core brace. Now, many of us, as we age, what happens is, if you're not paying attention, you start breathing from your upper chest. Mm -hmm. Shallow. Shallow breaths from yeah. the chest, and your car, which your, your, your stomach, which is designed to be like a car tire and hold pressure and support your spine, it's kind of very deflated and mm -hmm. sagging, and it leaves the tension in the neck. So oh, wow. you're gonna learn how to repressurize this midsection today through something called a core brace. Okay. okay. There's a crescendo at the end. So here's what I want you guys to do. Put your hand on your chest, okay. one hand on the stomach. Now you're gonna start off by taking a breath in from your chest like you usually would probably breathe in. Great. And I want every one of you to try this as well. Hands on the chest. Come on, everyone at home too. Now what you're going to do is you're gonna keep your hand on your chest still and you're only going to breathe through your stomach. Let Whoa, it, that's different. Yeah, yeah that's let different. It, let it come out a little you have bit. To let, we're all used to sucking it in, so we gotta let it go. We're gonna, exactly. we're gonna, go, we gotta let it go to re-suck it in at the end, but that's Wow, surprise. that's different. That that's is really different. At the end. Good. So now, take that breath in through your diaphragm, everybody. Now I want you to keep your posture, force all of your air out through your teeth like this. Slow, push it all Whoa. out, all of it. Oh, oh, keep going. Mark, you gotta stand up and do this. Take a re breath in. Push it out, 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 out. You feel that muscle? That muscle, that's your transverse abdominus. That's oh. what this muscle is. Okay, I've been missing that. Yes. I'm missing that because I almost fainted. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I almost had to sit down. Oh, is that what you did that? Yeah. yeah. That's so wild. Yeah. All right, what, yeah. else, what else does this do? I never knew the breathing of the teeth. That's cool. The teeth, right. There's actually breath trainers you can use for that too, but through the wow. teeth helps turn this on. So now we're building up to how to pressurize this one. You just felt the muscle turn on, right? Yeah, yep. so yep. So Me now too. what you're yes. going to do, great. So now what I want you to do is this. We're gonna do a little dance with the stomach. Let the stomach come out, suck it in. Stomach out, suck it in. Back and forth, good. A little more, Mark, you got more, more out. You're used to in two. He's got an eight or 12 I can see him, he wants to push it out. It out. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, we're gonna continue to do this because we have to take a break. Ah. We'll, more when we come back, we're gonna <laughs> help relieve your back pain. Keep doing that. Keep, we're back with Dr. Mike. And we're talking about back pain. All right, what are some other exercises and stretches we can do? Okay, so that was a little teaser on the breath. There's a little, there's a lot more to that, but hopefully you guys got a feeling for the muscle that gets yeah. activated. Yes. It was super tight. Great. And then another common cause of back pain is many of us, what we're doing is instead of bending from our hip joint, we're rounding like a crustacean. Like this. Or we're doing this Instagram booty picture <laughs> coming back. All, All right. right. Neither, you kind of want to find the sweet spot in the middle. And for that, there's an exercise. Okay. You're going to need a broom for this one. Oh, perfect. Okay. This one is called head, back, tailbone for oh, daytime oh, air. Okay. What are we Television. doing here? Okay. So what you're going to do here is you want to put the back of your hand on the sacrum. Okay. And you want to be able to, you want to bend all the way down without this coming off the bottom. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. That's really Let's hard. Let's see it. Go with a wider stance if you can. Now, I want you to make sure you keep that on the lower portion. Okay, so I gotta bend without yes. it moving? Yes, there you go, very the, good. Really now. hard in a tight denim skirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what does this do? It teaches you how to bend bust. over, yeah? 
So many people, right, tight hamstrings, tight low back. That's because you're overworking the back and not lengthening the hamstrings. This is going to help you lengthen your hamstrings when you bend, and it keeps your back in alignment. And alignment protects the discs of the back, it protects the nerves, and it protects the joints of the back. So this is called a hip hinge. Okay. What's next? Okay. So what's next is going to be a shoulder blade exercise. Okay. Many times what we find is our shoulders, because we're texting, we're on our yep. phone, we're doing all yep. this stuff. Yeah, we're all like this. We're here. So you're bending and you kind of roll downward like a roly-poly. Yep. Okay, so now I want you guys, Mark, you're good at this one okay. too. I want you guys to put both of your hands out super wide, maybe even wider. And now you're going to turn your pinkies all the way up to the sky, way up there. Pull your ribs down very slightly in the front. Great. Oh, yeah, because my ribs went up. Now you should feel, yeah, your ribs went up. Force your air out. Take a breath in. Now force all the air out. Now scoop that back. That is a brace core right there. So How many of these you got to do? You do them forever until okay. you die. Okay. <laughs> Every day? Every Mike, day. So, okay. Mike, we are just Ooh. scratching the service. We are just scratching the service. Thank you so much. Come back. Will you come oh, back? Oh, my God. Thank you. For this and more, <laughs> make sure to check out our Make sure to check out Mike's Instagram. <laughs> Next, a recipe from Puerto Rico. Mike, thank you, man. Oh, my God.